Hi, this is size uh, 10 grub hook, barbless hook, and the bead I'm using is 3.8 tungsten black bead, and thread I'm using is 60 light olive. So, wax your thread and just start below the eye. Open the thread and keep going all the way. And come back. Um, body. I'm going to explain all the materials. So this is a body. It's a yellow nymph skin, or you can use latex rubber. It's cut about five, uh, three to five millimeter wide, depend on the size of the hook. So this is like 10, so I'm using about five millimeter wide. Sorry, this is a four millimeter wide, that's my fault because I'm going to create a little big body chunky one so and also I'm going to catch another thread which is a mono mono thread clear and um, this is kind of two pound in strength so if you catch at same time Keep coming back. Hide all this. All the way. Now, what you have to do is uh, bring this body material first. So, I'm going to give a full stretch. Not full, but little stretch and then kind of <coughs> kind of wrap it lay the one wrap onto the, the other wrap so on top of each other so as you can see and then kind of loosen the grip so we can have a nice and big body juicy one keep coming up and then catch this couple of turns make sure you scale it properly and then cut this very close And wax the thread first. And I'm going to finish with this thread. Now bring your mono thread in between each segment. So bring it through the segment and take your time. That, you don't have to do that, but it just makes a nice segmentation, you know. So, 
take this off by whip finish so we finished with these threads so I'm going to use a different thread but before I do that I'm going to actually add some varnish on the body because it makes it nice and strong and shiny so if you use thin coat onto the body and let it dry at you know for a long time at least you know an hour or so okay so this one is completely dried and I'm using a black thread now a -to. so if you add some wax on this and <clears throat> I'm just gonna alter this hook so I can have my better hand, hand around properly. Wax the thread, and I'm using a brown partridge just to give some extra, you know, legs and all this. So if you get this tip out. Just catch it and then pull it back to secure this. And keep the tension and get this tip out. Take your time <clears throat> and hack a plier. All you need is a strobe bees one buck and then secure it. So make sure you secure this properly and then you can alter it. Basically just leave them like that. Wax your thread. Dubbing the hair mask natural color but I'm taking some of the soft one from behind uh, back of the ears as you can see this is some darker color, brownish color and then back of the ears there's the darker one so let's take some of these I need to have a little dark color and then you mix them with your hand just very simple you know and then once you put them on and then work with work your way. So I'll just take some off. There's too much here. And that's fine. We need a, a dumping brush. <coughs> Release some of these fluff dubbing. Pull everything back. Take your time again.
and the last thing add some varnish on your thread and gently whip finish <coughs> just run out of my spool so I just luckily I just grabbed it so so there we have a caddis larvae I hope you enjoy this video thanks for watching